Good morning. Shh. Everybody's really quiet. Uh, welcome to Model Club this morning. I think we're on. Are we on April Fool's Day today? Yeah, we are, aren't we? 1st of April 2023. Uh, 16 boys and girls in this morning so far. We've got a couple of emissions who have uh, doing a show in Sheffield this morning. Paul Pan, hope you're well. Uh, and Padre and Craigie as well. And Mr. Fisher, don't forget Mr. Fisher. <coughs> okay, and we're literally waiting for sandwiches to come because I could eat my own arms. Uh, little bit of a shout out straight away off the bat. We had a great conversation last night with a gentleman in New Zealand called Andy. Uh, who runs the YouTube channel Zone 5. Uh, so if you want to have a look at that, Andy in New Zealand, the difference in time is 11 hours. Uh, so where it was sort of 9pm last night, uh, luckily Andy doesn't work Saturdays and Sundays, so it was 10am on Saturday morning, uh, and he was able to join us for a chat with Mr Radcliffe as well. Starting back at the top of the shop, and we've got Sean from SGS Models, that's popped in from Leeds this morning. Uh, and we invite Sean along, uh, obviously, with a couple of wares, uh, just to see if any of the lads want to buy any bits and bats. And it's it's convenient, really, uh, for the lads and for Sean as well. Uh, makes a couple of quid. Uh, uh, we can pay cash, by the sounds of that. I can hear cash rattling in my ear. Uh, and then we don't have to fanny about with online stuff. Uh, and it's always a bit of a bonus. Uh, Sean runs decals and... But, Bits of paint, bits of glue, uh, tape and masking sets and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and we love having Sean along. And then we've got Mark and Ange, Mange. Have you got something wrong with your eye this morning? Have you got yeah, a little... Look, look, dress up with day, mate. Uh, punched, look at Ange, punched him, punched him. Again. Again. <laughs> punched him. Punched him again. Okay, so... <laughs> Look at these two. I'm back. We've got Dave, non building Dave, non building Dave, and non, what, and non building Bill. Bill, you've been poorly, but you're all right now. Get in there. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Seeing your happy face is making me nice. Absolutely. You see, what people don't know is that on a weekend, Bill usually goes pole dancing. <laughs> Yeah, that's flagpole dancing. Flagpole dancing, and he's been throwing himself about a little bit too much lately. Uh, so he has been in the hospital, but he's actually getting a lot better. <coughs> Clem, Ian, good morning. He's still on with this ICM helicopter. And how's it going, mate? Alright. Have you seen? Did I pose, have you seen the one that he's got it working? What do you think? Are you doing it? No, no, no. It was hard enough to do a working Lancaster. But it's looking the part though, mate. Uh, and we're going to airbrush that. Yeah, yeah, we are. So the story behind that is last year I said to Ian uh, and Dave down at the other centre, I said this year, in 2023, I am definitely going to get Ian Glenn doing a bit of airbrushing. And it was like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Never happened, never happened. And then look at him smiling. Uh, Ian has actually taken the plunge uh, and he's doing a little bit of airbrushing so this is oh is that Simon no Simon so who's this I'm not sure who it is oh it's Mark's Mark's that's yours isn't it of course it is so Mark you did that pre-shading didn't it the other day and you had some massive gaps turn it upside down then mate let's have a look Apart from, apart from, the gloss blew that big hole in it last night. All right, okay. Well, it's no drama. No, no, someone touched that. Up. Engine bay looks quite nice, mate. I like that. You see, if you glossed inside there, gloss, and then put a floury wash in there, come out mint. Come out mint. Uh, yeah, mate. No, it's spot on that cocker. 
Yeah, all these, all that is begging for a floor wash, man. Yeah, begging. Yeah. But decal first. I'm a bit concerned with it being yeah. typical air fix and they're about size in a trench. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Feel that, can you feel how that's rough? Yeah. Have you got, have you not got? I've got, um, I've got a sanding, sanding sponge. Sanding yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly, it wants, uh, and then, yeah, yeah, and then we've got some decals. What are you decaling today? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna have to get down to it, yeah. Okay, put that one on. Tidy, looking the part, and it looks like it's in flight. Yeah, we're gonna be, yeah, gonna be. Happy yeah. days. Simon's brought everything but the kitchen sink. If you turn around now and pull a kitchen sink out, mate, I will literally stand the drop of York. Uh, what are you building? So. Uh, one, it's a Another new way. one. One seventy second. Right. N three PB. Come on, whip it out of the box. I want to see how big this this is. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah. Let's come on. Can you mask that canopy? Yeah, we'll mask it. Yeah, we'll mask it. With some mask all. That's tiny that mate. Where did you pinch that from? Um, where did, do you know, I think I got that from Tiger a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Tell you what, though, it looked nice, that. Yeah. Norwegian Squadron. Why has it got RAF markings on it, then? Because there'll be the Nor Norwegian Squadron that uh, escapes and served with RAF. Oh, right, OK. Oh. Even a oh, bit of etch as well. Bit of etch as well. Oh my Happy god. Days. <laughs> Tim, I can see that we haven't got a, a Millennium Falcon with us today. That's on shelf for shame. Are you kidding? I'm not. What, oh. Let me get your face in here. Why? Because when I tried to put the top bits together, yeah. it would either smash it or put it on shelf for shame. That bad? Yeah. How's Padre getting on with his? Done it. He's done it. He's in his cabinet. No, well, he needs to bring it in. Need to have a look at that. Well, Alan. Morning, man. That's the one I. Oh, yeah. A Krupp Roma plus Vus 617. Yeah. What the chuffing hell's that? It's a mine clearance vehicle. Let's have a look, mate. Let's see. So I've seen it just a minute. Let me take inside. Let's see if it's out. They only meant to one of them. Look at that. Uh, does that attachment go on front? It's two separate. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. Both manned? Yeah. Well, they've got a little gun turret on them. I can see that and a hatch and a couple of parts. Yeah. How big is that? Let's have a look. Um, that's, that's the two parts for the bigger. Because it's arti articulated. I don't know how your people build that small, I really don't. Does it cost my hands a lot of shovels? Look at the shuffling size of that. Oh, GL. What's the detail like on it, though? Is it good? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <coughs> it was just something I spotted and I thought, I've never built one of them. Yeah. I'll stick with fast jets. I'm bloody rubbish, me. <laughs> oh, the Spitfires, though, that one turned out all right. Alan didn't yeah, take it. Have you had a look? Very nice. What do you think? Yeah. Thanks a lot, mate. Yeah. What are you all doing? Is that us? It is. Look at that. What's that? It's Has he got a seam line on it? <laughs> oh, millions of them. Seam line on us. Oh, yeah. Oh, two us. Yeah. Right, okay. Some kind of drawn carriage. Looks like resin. So what is it? It's plastic. Um, it's a very, very old Esky kit. I built an Esky A10 once. We'll leave that there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like we've got an Ossin clamp. Yeah. And there's another Ossin there. Is that one done? It is. Come on, let's have a look. I've never built Oss before. Oh. <laughs> it's going to need filling though, there's a lot of gaps in it. Oh, yeah. Have you ever painted Oss before? Nope. How are you going to paint it? I don't know. I went <laughs> pro probably with paint. <laughs> paint it black. You've been to Germany, so you've eaten a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. absolutely. And uh, we've got Young Lou here. Brought Young Lou in this morning. What we're we doing? So, did anybody got any uh, XF63 for Young Lou? I've got some off uh, Dougie. Oh, yeah, top man, top man. Much at minute because it's freaking broke. Okay, what's broke? Right, glue it. it put it to one side. Mr. Stringer's good with touching really small things. That sounds so wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounded so wrong. 
Uh, I, I meant parts on a kit, obviously. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. Battle on. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, mate. I started digging then, didn't I? <laughs> Derek, good morning. Good morning. Uh, and Mr. Chris as well. Hi. How are we doing? Not too bad, how are you? I'm alright mate, who's a nice cloth cap? Hi. That's lovely isn't it? Talking about models, looking looking at your cap. Derek, what are we on with? That's a... Uh, a V1. A V1, I'm going to have a sit down. From Tacom. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be a nice kit that. Looks it so far. Come up mate. All you need Go on, it's alright. Kit that. Oh, you get cradled with it as well? Yep, that's what I'm just doing at the moment. But do you get all that interior stuff with the... Or is it just a shell? No, it's all the interior. Let's have a look. Tack on, what scale is that? 35? It also comes with the plastic outside if you wanted to, but I'm just going to be chopping it up. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Devastating, weren't they, mate? These, uh, yeah. back in the day, devastating. That looks so. Do you get a photo etch with this? Just a little bit. Yeah, for trolley, is it? No, I think it's for the outside. All right. And how big is the... Uh, Oh yeah, how big is it? Let's have you got the actual body. Oh, do you know what? That's bigger than what I thought. Yeah, that's uh, look at the size of that. That's actually not bad at all. What's detail like? Nice. Yeah, lovely that, mate. Can you imagine you were obviously you can't being a scientist back in the day and coming up with that, and then going to the boss and saying, "Guess what I've done." You'd be like, "Well, you'd be like a god, wouldn't you?" Unfortunately, it didn't. Well, it did work, but. Oh, yeah. That's a whole different story. Wall, though, it? it's really? Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> which uh, which scheme are you going for, Derek? Bottom one, please set bottom one. bottom one. Yeah, that's that's the classic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the other one. I don't like the top one. It just doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. Didn't they make a funny sound when they were flying like a... Well, it's a pulse jet. A pulse jet. So it goes... Um, Learn something new every day. I hope we've got here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe that... Uh, what, anybody still tries to make that yeah, kit? Well, that we're still on with it. I, I can see that you've brought the old Optivisor in this morning. Oh, I need it. And you need that. Mate. Nothing fits. <sighs> Why do you torment? Why do people? Why do people torment themselves? I'll tell you for why. Tell me, please. Because I built that when I was about twelve. Oh, it's one of them, right? Nostalgia things. It's nostalgia, yeah. and it's got so many things wrong with it. I you... think it'll be a good one to learn on. Yeah. And are you learning or are you cursing? Uh, no, I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. Yeah, looking all right so far. He sat at wrong table to learn how to curse. He needs to be sat on this one with Jean, Rue, Leanne, and Andy. You know what you can do. And Mark. Uh, and Mark. And, and Mark. I won't curse on film. I won't curse on film. Let's start with Andy. What are we doing? What the chuff? I'll tell you what, every corner I turn around this morning, I'm surprised. At what? What is happening? German medium tank Panzer three, World of War tunes. How big is that beast? Well, don't ask me what scale it is. Mate, I don't it think they do a scale, do they? No. I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think they do a scale. But I mean, it. I tell you what, what we got here: three sprues, four sprues. Yeah. Do you know what? How much for that, Andy? At 30 quid? At is that all? That's not bad, that is it. That's not bad at all. <coughs> Bridge is on with his on it. He's disappeared. He's disappeared. He's probably popped at low. We've got Leanne in this morning doing a little bit of card making. Morning, Leanne. Good morning, uh, Leanne was absolutely... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Leanne was brilliant last night in telling us that uh, one of the roads to club was closed, and that was great, that, Leanne, that you put that on. Uh, and thankfully it went open again this morning. Jane, Jane, model machine, uh, are you going to watch uh, Bradford City Nil this afternoon? No, to start at one o'clock, that's what I've got cheeky shit. Well, it's only what Andy calls them. I'm going to take George to watch Barnsley FC 4. <laughs> 
Do you know what I mean? Uh, we are seventh in league, you know. Seventh? Yes, we're in okay. playoffs. So oh, you're far. doing Thank really you. well. And there's still uh, another seven games left. Oh, right. I, I, I hope. Let's. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna edit all that out. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm fighting with um, canopies. What do you mean fighting? Masking? Yeah, fighting with them because I hate them. <laughs> Why are you fighting with it? I just don't like them. Right. The recess. And the markings aren't very good, are they? Can I have a look? Yeah. Right, that's the colour of my chuffing nail. That's tiny. Yeah. Well, and how are you doing it? Are you cutting thin strips? Yes, I will. How thin? Well, thin. How, show me. Show how me how thin. thin. Would you do? I would do it unbelievably thin. About there. Oh no, that's thin. Do you want to my I'll do it in a minute. Okay. I don't know what I mean. And then it's just a matter of trial and error pouring it on into it. Framing. Yes, boss. Framing, framing. Yes, boss. Yeah, well, that's how I do it. Yeah. <coughs> Mr. Roo. Good morning. When I ordered your sandwich this morning, yes. I said put Roo on the bag. You know, just to make you feel special. What's that truck? What is it? Is that it's the Coca Cola truck? Uh, no, well, it's a Revel right. T6, T Kenworth T600. All right, I can see that you're not prepared to lean off a foot box, so I'll walk around. Okay. You just sit there, Cocker. All right, then. You know what I mean? It's all right. Let's have a look. T600. 25 cent off. It's just the. Is that the truck that you drive for a living? No. This is an American truck. All right, okay. That's why it's bonneted. All oh, right, right, right. But it's definitely not to go. It's not going to stay green. No, I tell you what, it looks quite garish that yes. they're done so <laughs> I've been thinking I'm, I'm going to slightly customise it slightly what's the interior like is it uh, that's it that's it typical sort of revel oh, oh you get a bed as well yeah. right okay so, cool and what's the what's the cab like what's the plastic like is it looks really flimsy actually it's, it's, oh, it's not so bad it's alright not bad there's some detail in it. Which yeah, is, yeah, yeah. You no, know, not bad. What colour are you going to paint it? Have you decided yet? I might, I'm leaving sort of royal blue, deep blue. Have you got nickels for it? Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to my turn. Yeah, but there's a gold stripe here, isn't well, there? It's yellow, it's not gold. Well, it's yellow. Where's the, where's the decal? <laughs> don't know, do you? That'll, look, that, that'll pop nice on a black. Got metallic black gloves. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I'll give it a go in here. Mr. Breege. Hello. What's that in, in your hand? Is that a seat? It is. I thought it was a 1 in 48, this. It is. That's never been a 1 in 48 seat. Part of it. Part of it. That's tiny, that, mate, isn't it? Look at that. Good oh, it's that bit. Right, you've still got the sides to attach. Etc. Etc. Cool. Right. Okay. I'll tell you what. Somebody's been. Somebody's been messing this morning. So I want to take some photos shortly. But we've got Mr. Lids F15. Very nice marky mark. And then we've got Mr. Andrews Spitfire. That's the new Airfix one, the new Airfix uh, one in 24. And then I've actually dug my old lank out as well. A couple of warbirds, well, three warbirds, obviously. Three warbirds on this morning. Uh, Doug took as well, that's done book this morning. Uh, I've missed Doug out. What are you doing, Doug? Are you still on with that tank? No, what's, what's whoa, have a minute here, what's dinosaur? Oh, is it? All right. What colour are you painting it? You say I can paint it whatever colour I want because there were nobody alive then to record what colour it is. That's right, isn't it? You see that thing in paper the other day about T Rex just being gummy? What's that all about? It's had teeth. Was Bill gone? Has he gone? Oh no, he's, no, he's doing rounds. Look, he's down there. <coughs> he's down there. Are you all ready for your sandwiches? Yeah. Yeah. Jumping, starving. So, me, one. Have you got anybody outside? Having a crafty. 
Yeah, hi Dale, you are. Morning, Dale. Dale's come to club this morning. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right, mate. It's all right, mate. So, me and Dale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty boys and girls in this morning. Uh, what have we got coming up? We've got. At the end of this month, we are doing our 24 hour build, and that's for Minsthorpe Air Cadets. Uh, so, my daughter Charlie was in the cadets for five years and made corporal. Uh, just get that in. Uh, but she had to leave because A levels come first. Uh, but she had a great time down at cadets, and as a way of paying back, uh, a lot of the boys and girls down at club. Uh, at the 29th, Saturday 29th of April, we're doing a 24 hour build uh, into the Sunday morning uh, to raise a little bit of money for them. Because at the end of the day, cadets do a great job, uh, teach, teach some good skills and keep the kids off the street. Uh, and we do like that. Okay. So that's at the end of April, and then in June we've got the Cubs down here as well to do some uh, quick building so that they can get their modelling badge, because Cubs between 8 and 10 year old can get a modelling badge, but I'm not quite sure on how many of the Cubs actually get that. Uh, obviously they'd have to sort of do it at club meetings, but we've offered this year to get Pontefract Cubs in uh, with some of their uh, helpers and some of our boys and girls to sit uh, and build some kits with them so they can genuinely get their modelling badge and that's in June, June 17th I think okay, that's everybody building away this morning uh, and like I said, a couple of emissions uh, Trev hasn't turned up yet uh, get your foot down, Trev and Fraser as well and Shara's on his way uh, but uh, like I said earlier, the boys and girls that are doing the Sheffield part uh, this morning, safe journey there and back guys, hope you have a great day. Okay, and as usual, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. <coughs> Oh, yeah. So, you're only walking if you're not left hand down.